Hey guys, how are you? Today record for you game Brink, PlayStation 3. Third disc, one second loading this game. 40 years ago, we started building the Ark. Back then it was an experiment, a dream, a self-sustaining city of the future. But then the seas rose. We were forced to relocate, but still our floating ark became a refuge for tens of thousands. To maintain order, the ark was divided. And now we're out of time. The ark is where I'm at. No new ship or plane has been seen in 20 years. The new guests live in slums, disease, thirst. Some are from a resistance that vows to seize power and search for life outside the Ark. Ark's security force says we must have order to survive. So will you save the Ark or escape it? The basics. The following briefing could save your life. You can play Brink in three ways. Campaign mode follows the story of the Civil War on the Ark. Free play allows you to play those missions in any order with custom settings. Challenges grant you the opportunity to hone your skills in specially designed scenarios. You'll earn experience points for your successes, such as completing objectives or assisting your teammates, which will raise your rank and unlock new outfits and abilities. New weapons and weapon attachments can only be unlocked by completing the challenges. To win, your team needs to complete objectives, and to do this, you need to be the right class at the right time. Soldiers can complete destruction objectives using explosive charges, replenish the ammunition supply of teammates, and throw molotovs. Operatives can plant computer hacking devices, disguise as fallen enemies, and spot hidden enemy mines by iron sighting. Engineers can complete construction objectives, deploy mines, and buff teammates' weapon damage. They can also disarm mines, explosive charges, and hack devices. Medics can buff the health of teammates and dispense revive syringes to fallen comrades and mission VIPs. You can change class at any friendly command post. Command posts, when captured, also apply bonuses to your entire team. Your HUD will let you know when your team has captured command posts. The status of your team's primary objective is shown on the right in yellow, with active secondary tasks underneath in blue. View 
objectives by pressing and holding up to display the objective wheel. Make your choice and release up to set it as your active objective, highlighting it in the world. Once you reach it, you'll have to interact with it for several seconds to complete the objective. The lower left shows the special abilities of your character, as well as your supply meter. You can equip an ability by pressing the corresponding direction. Using an ability will spend one pip of your supply meter. The meter slowly replenishes when not in use. Your current class and health are displayed in the upper left corner. Health will regenerate if you can escape danger. If you lose all your health, you will be incapacitated. You can choose to wait for a medic or redeploy when the timer reaches zero. Medics throw revive syringes, which you can use to get back up. The Ark is a dangerous place, so be sure to move more than you shoot. Always stay close to your teammates and play the challenges to hone your skills and unlock powerful weapons. More detailed instructional videos can be found in the dossier on the main menu. Follow these guidelines and you can win the war. Objectives. The objective wheel. Brink is all about working together to complete objectives. At any time on the battlefield, you can quickly select the most important objective by tapping up. You can bring up a list of available objectives by pressing and holding up to display the objective wheel. The most important objective is always at the top of the wheel. Select an objective and then release up to make it your active objective. A marker will also appear on the radar and you'll automatically communicate your intentions to your teammates. Active objectives earn bonus XP when completed. Destruction objectives. A soldier must interact with the target to plant an explosive charge. The charge must be guarded against enemy engineers until it detonates. Construction and repair objectives. Only the engineer can complete construction or repair objectives. The engineer must interact with most targets for several seconds to complete the process. Friendly engineers can interact simultaneously to speed progress. Some secondary construction objectives can be destroyed by soldiers planting explosive charges and must then be rebuilt. Hack objectives. An operative interacts with the target until the hack device attaches. The PDA shows the progress of the hack, as does the hack device itself. While hacking, the operative is free to move around within the signal range. Low signal strength will slow the progress of the hack. Each friendly operative that interacts with the device will speed up the progress. You can disengage from hacking at any time by performing any other action. You will also disengage if you walk too far away, or if you are knocked down, incapacitated, or killed. The hacking device needs to be defended against enemy engineers. Engineers can interact with the hacking device to reverse the hack's progress. If the progress meter is reduced to zero, then the hack device itself will be removed. Escort objectives. During escort objectives, the target will only advance when a friendly player is nearby. The target will stop immediately if there is no one nearby or if it becomes incapacitated. Once incapacitated, it will not move until repaired or healed. The health of a VIP or defusal bot is displayed above it. Medics must revive human escort targets before they can buff their health. Diffusal bots can only be repaired by engineers. Defenders can interrupt an escort by defeating enemies in the area or directly assaulting the target. Once the target is incapacitated, defenders will be guided to guard the area against the enemy. Incapacitated escort targets cannot be destroyed. Carry objectives. During carry objectives, a member of the attacking team must deliver an object to a position on the map and perform a simple interaction. If the carrying player is incapacitated, the object is dropped. It can then be picked up by another attacker or returned by a defender. Command posts. 
Each map contains neutral command posts. Capturing these command posts grant bonuses to the controlling team. Command posts also provide a mid-map position to change class, weapons and replenish ammunition. Machine gun nests. Engineers can take missions to assemble machine gun nests in the battlefield. Machine gun nests overlook strategic points on the map and do not run out of ammunition. They can overheat, however, if used for too long. Guarding. Okay, guys, this video is long. It's top records. Like, subscribe, comment. Really good game. Interesting. Bye bye, bro. Good luck.